Hey guys, I'm Alex, thanks for clicking, and welcome to this advanced grammar lesson on active and passive infinitives. Now, before this lesson, I really recommend checking out the previous lesson that I did on the functions of infinitives, just so you're already familiar with how they work in a sentence, what verbs they can follow, and everything like that. So today, we're going to look at active infinitives, in which the subject is doing an action, plus an infinitive. And we're also going to look at passive infinitives, where you are receiving the action, okay? So first of all, let's look at the active simple, which is the most basic infinitive use. And again, an infinitive is to, plus a base verb. So, she plans to invite them. Here, to invite. After plan, we always use an infinitive. There's nothing special going on here. It's just a present simple sentence. Mike is afraid to make mistakes. We know that many adjectives, such as afraid, can be followed by an infinitive. And here we have, Bermuda is a nice place to spend your vacation. Okay, so this is basically the simple use of an infinitive, and there are certain verbs that are followed by infinitives. There are many adjectives that are followed by infinitives. There are many noun phrases which are also followed by infinitives. And this all plays into the rest of this lesson as well. So here we have the active past. So if you'd like to talk about an action that a subject did in the past, and you have to use an infinitive, the structure you use is to have plus the past participle. So to have is actually the infinitive in this sentence. For example, you seem to have forgotten your jacket. So I'm speaking to you in the present, maybe I'm talking to you on the phone, and you know, you left my party two hours ago, and I say, hey, it looks like you left your jacket. You seem to have forgotten in the past, your jacket. And again, seem is always followed by an infinitive, so you have to use an infinitive after it. Past to have plus PP. Okay, second sentence says, I was happy to have finished everything early. I was happy to have finished. So this, you're almost using a past perfect structure because what you're doing is, you're saying the first action is, I finished, you know, I finished everything early, whether it was studying, work, whatever it was, and then I was happy after that, right? So this is the first action, and this is the second ac action. You can say, I was happy to finish everything early. That's fine as well. Um, but if you want to focus more on the order of the action, and this, you know, having been completed a little bit earlier, you can do to have plus the past participle. All right, let's look at the passive forms. Now, in passive, the subject basically here, well, the object, sorry, becomes the focus and it receives the action, okay? So in the passive simple, all you're doing is to be plus the past participle. So the first sentence says they expect to be invited. In general, they expect now to be invited, for example, to a birthday party or a wedding or whatever the occasion is. They expect to be invited by someone. Passive. They're receiving the action. Second sentence. We waited to be given instructions. So here, to be given is using a passive simple structure of an infinitive. Now, what this means is, you know, we waited in class to be given instructions from the teacher. The teacher is the one doing the action, we are receiving the action, and as we know, based on the previous lesson on infinitives and common verbs, wait is followed by an infinitive. So you wait to do something, okay? And here, prepare to be amazed. This is in well, how can I say this? Yes, it's an imperative, right? So prepare to be amazed. Um, whether this is a tagline for a movie or something like that, 
they are telling you, prepare to be amazed by something. So you're going to receive the action of amazement in this situation. And finally, let's look at the passive past, which again, just like active and passive gerunds, um, active and passive infinitives, this is the longest construction and the one that is, I would say, the least frequently used by native English speakers. So, I'm happy to have been invited. To have been invited. The structure, to have been, plus the past participle. I'm happy now because I was invited in the past. So, I'm happy. Again, happy is an adjective. Many adjectives are followed by infinitives. I'm happy to have been invited in the past. Okay, and finally, it was an honor. It was an honor in the past to have been chosen for the award. I was chosen for the award in the past of the past, kind of like a past perfect construction. To have been chosen for the award. Okay. Are you confused? Are you okay? Are you breathing? Okay. Okay. So, if, you know, if you're having some trouble with this stuff, go back. Watch my two lessons on 10 common verbs followed by infinitives. Watch my lesson on the functions and uses of infinitives, which are linked to this video. After, come back, take a deep breath, Take the quiz below and let me know how you did. And if you have any other suggestions for future videos, please also keep them in the comment section. Once again, this has been Alex and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.